Senior U.S. Republicans on Sunday said a transition to a Joe Biden presidency appears inevitable as President Donald Trump questioned whether the Supreme Court would even hear any of the challenges his campaign has vowed to pursue. But they said it's very hard to get a case up there. Can you imagine Donald Trump, president of the United States, files a case and I probably can't get a case... Trump's comments in a telephone interview with Fox News that aired Sunday came as Republican Senator Roy Blunt, chair of the Congressional Inaugural Committee, said they expect Biden, a Democrat, to be sworn in as president on January 20th. Blunt on CNN's State of the Union said he's working with Biden on both the transition and inauguration. Governor Asa Hutchinson of Arkansas, one of a few Republicans to refer to Biden as president-elect, told Fox News Sunday, quote, The transition is what's important. The words of President Trump are not quite as significant. And on Sunday, the recount of presidential ballots in Wisconsin's two largest counties was completed, confirming Biden defeated Trump in the key swing state by more than 20,000 votes. Trump used his Sunday interview on Fox News to repeat allegations he has made without evidence about widespread electoral fraud, claims that have been rejected by numerous judges, and said he'd continue to fight the election results. In other words, my mind will not change in six months. In the nearest he has come to a concession, Trump said last week that if Biden is certified the winner when the Electoral College meets to tally results from the states on December 14th, he will leave the White House. Uh, certainly I will. Certainly I will. And you know that. Biden won the presidential election with 306 Electoral College votes, many more than the 270 required, to Trump's 232, and leads Trump by more than 6 million in the popular vote tally.